You've seen any uh, significant change in the volume of calls or support that you've had to provide uh, as an organization uh, because of the pandemic, and how have things maybe changed in the organization, or what are the trends have you seen in the last few years? Well, it's the um, think being creative, right? We're serving an 18 percent increase year over year. That's our really our numbers at Child and Family Service. We get about 1,800 hotlines calls a year. We serve about 500 survivors across four shelters. And if you do the math, so we have about 90 beds because we have um, two shelters on Oahu, two on the Big Island, right? And so our beds <clears throat> turn over every 120 days. And so if you're serving about 500 people, you have to be creative because you're serving such a, volu a volume of people that you're not meant to serve. So you have to be innovative. You have to braid funds. We have to work collaboratively. So oftentimes if we don't have an open bed and the survivor can travel off island or if they're at imminent risk and can't stand island, I'll be calling Sunoy. We'll be working together. We'll be streamlining where they can go, where they can have a safe journey and recovery. So I think we have learned to be creative just because you're serving the saturation of the need with um, funding that has been stagnant, right, for many, many years. So how do you do uh, more with less funding? Yeah, and, and Sonoy, I think a similar question to you, not necessarily looking at COVID, but you did mention the wildfires, the stress that that has on the entire community, not just those who lived and worked in Lahaina, but just the broader Maui community overall. What has been the impact that you've seen? So similar to during COVID is we experienced an influx of 24-hour uh, hotline calls. And, you know, that, that, that sudden increase really put a high stress on our advocates. I will say, though, that's kind of tying it into COVID. It, COVID had prepared us for this moment. And so in a weird way, we were actually uh, looking for those extra calls to come in. Um, but, you know, people were searching for loved ones. They were searching for family members, all of those things. But, you know, just like Amanda said, that innovation for us to be able to just keep doing more with less is no longer working. And so we need to really be pushing the envelope with our legislators and all those things to be able to fund these programs, because without it, you know, advocates will still continue to do their job. However, you know, we need to be paying them the same amount, right? We need to be paying them more, sorry, so to say. Yeah. yeah.